Hey there, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Star Wars Guys to Heroes video. I'm Zuko. And I'm Exum. And this is The, the High Ground. Ground. All right, guys, so today's video is pretty exciting. Um, we all know that, you know, the way that Malak was rolled out is a little controversial, and everybody's freaking out about the Darth Revan teams now that he's a part of it. But actually, an old guild leader of ours, and actually the new guild leader for um, a guild has no name, Boss Snake, a really good friend of ours, he's a great guy. He sent us uh, some, some footage of him being able to completely wipe out Darth Revan teams, even with Darth Malak, in about a minute. We all know that you guys are looking for some counters, so we're going to give you guys one. General Grievous. He sent us these videos saying if we wanted to discuss them, and we know with the whole Darth Malik stuff going around, how can we beat Darth Malik? Now, we can no longer beat him with Palpatine, because you guys know about the nerf, and we really don't want to get into that, but General Grievous. General Grievous was a character that was made, and we thought he was going to be able to beat Jedi <laughs> Revan, and when Darth Revan first came around, General Grievous was somebody that was popping around that people were using to beat Darth Revan. And you would think that when Darth Malik came, Malik came around, he was going to upset a lot of counters for Darth Revan. Well, not necessarily. You could still use General Grievous and the droids to defeat Darth Revan and Darth Malik. And it's actually fairly easily. Like you said, yes. you could do it within a minute. Um, these droids need to be maxed out. It's very essential that you have T3 Zetas because he's really going to add this damage. We're going to be showing clips of these team compositions in the background. Yes. You know, he kind of plays around with different teams. Um, another guild member of his, we're going to use some of his videos too that he shared with us. And it really comes down to Grievous. Grievous is going to be the one <laughs> that is absurd. He's going to mow down the team. Uh, he's going to have that extra uh, damage on his basic whenever an enemy is debuffed. T3 is giving them extra plus 8% critical damage per debuff on the field. And all these droids are spreading, uh, spreading debuffs. So it, it's really a fun team that you can use to just quickly climb an arena and not have to deal with this these new overpowered characters that have been introduced into the game. Yeah, uh, T3 is probably the key to this team, just because both of his uniques, both Zetas, are incredible for all of Joy's, especially his second one, the Master uh, Gearhead, which is when he gives everybody else 100% defense penetration. You absolutely need that. If you're watching behind us, you're gonna see General Grievous on his AoE is gonna be doing like 80,000 damage. He's gonna be wiping out the entire team. Yep. And his basic at one point does 131,000. <laughs> okay, that's obviously yes. A certain number. He right has there. a pretty good um, modded. Uh, he just has the the health at 62k, and the speed for this General Grievous is 198 speed. So it's nothing that's unachievable. Exactly. Um, and you know how BB-8's unique works. He's gonna make the team go first. It also really helps when you have. If you notice, he's running this with IPD. IPD is fantastic because again, General Grievous's um, unique works that whenever a droid ally dies, it doesn't have to be separatist. Whenever a droid ally dies, all of his cooldowns are reset. So he's going to be running that that uh, Grievous Wounds ability just over and over, and he's going to be destroying the team with Fire that AoE. Team. They don't counter like uh, um, a Jedi Knight Revan team would yeah. with, with General Kenobi. So you're just wiping out this team constantly with, with that ability. And then you also have BB-8 on this team. BB-8 is on this team for the specific reason that, of course, he makes the droid team the fastest team out there. His unique is going to give them so much turn meter that we need them to go first. Do you want... Always, you're going to have BB-8 go first, and then you should have uh, T3 go next, and then try to get, um, what's his name, IPD to go after that. Again, there is a couple different team comps that he runs. Sometimes he does it with uh, B2, other times he does it B1. with B1. Yeah. So there is different ways we to make this team work. We saw him do it with an HK-47 lead. It yes. didn't look, like it looked a little more stressful because a lot of the team started dying. But it really still, did, it can it be still wipes them out. Yeah, because it, it doesn't really matter. It comes down to Grievous just wiping. You out just the team. can't have Grievous die. Grievous yeah. dies, then you're in trouble. But this is this is again an offensive team, so you're the one running. The AI isn't going to be smart enough to take out Grievous, and they don't have because they don't have that focus. They don't ability. have the focus uh, fire. What is it? The marked ability marked from Jedi Knight Revan. And again, um, the reason Grievous doesn't work against Jedi Knight Revan a lot is because of. All the foresight. Yep. So these Darth Revan teams, even with Darth Malik, you don't have this foresight ability. You don't have this counter that he talked about. So Grievous just mows through them, and it's really a sight to see. And it's great because the thing is, like, like we said, IPD of course is going to wipe out a character. So most of the time you're going to want to wipe wipe out Darth Revan or Malik if Malik's on the field. Exactly. He's going to deal damage when he does that arrow, obviously as well. You're going to reset the cooldowns on Grievous because but he here's, dies. Because he so dies. So it's a great combo there. Exactly. He's also not losing as much health and protection as. Uh, the rest of the uh, some other droids because he's a dark side droid so he yeah. doesn't get that double reduction exactly and what's great also is that you have bb-8 on the field and what does bb-8 do when he's surrounded by droids he taunts so you kind of just need you're never going to get illuminated destiny with bb-8 that's not the that's point not of this point. the point of this is just to make them faster than the team that you're going against because obviously people have darth revan at 330 speed 
well, he can be outrun by a good BB-8. Yeah. So if he dies, well, that's even better because what's going to happen? He's going to reset the cooldowns again. Yeah. That ability, that AOE is absolutely massive. So that's why this team works so well. And what's great about it is that you're going to sit there and be like, okay, well, x stated that I need to have the entire team maxed out. Well, you should because B2 is we've had him forever. So you can get him to gear 12 pretty easy. BB-8 is pretty easy. T3, we've been needing him for We for just Jedi had to Knight gear Revit. him up for Darth Malik and stuff. For like IPD, so. IPD is just a great character. So you may not even ha- need to have him at 12. IPD is one of those characters where you can mess around with his health to try to get him to use his ability faster. What's great is that he uses it without B1. So B1 obviously is the only one that he was a marquee. We probably don't have him maxed out. That's fine. You don't need him. So this team is really easily achievable. It's just fun to be able to mow through the... CG's golden boy Malik, and it's great to see him do it in a minute. So. Yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. It's very cool, and um, yeah, we just wanted to share that with you guys. He says play around with the protection mods. Yeah, uh, he says you don't have to have too much protection on them because really you you want IPD to get that protection knocked off, lose health, explode, uh, then give that extra bonus turn for Grievous. Grievous goes and destroys the team. It's pretty simple. It's Absolutely. Pretty so we want to thank uh, Boss Snake, which is the, the guild leader for um, a guild has no name. He's a former guild member of ours. He's a great, great guy. Great guild. Check them out if you guys if you guys want. Um, we want to thank you, of course, for the footage. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, that's all we want to talk about. Peace out. We'll see you guys on the next one. Over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. High ground. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. High ground. I loved you. High ground. <laughs> high ground. It's not the high ground way. I mean, the Jedi way. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying I've beaten you, and I'm on the high ground, so. High ground. <laughs>